to Mark now with the weather. You could see even behind Sarah just how nice it is it out there. Look like fall. Yeah, I'm starting to see some color in the trees. Yeah. Just a little color. bit there, Mark. Yep. A lot Foliage. of color. Yeah. The other part of fall is morning fog. Yeah. Here's a feature yeah. of our Willamette Valley Vineyards camera. We'll see a lot of fog here in the winter time, but uh, that's out in the South Salem Hills. Just about one hour, and you can see the fog kind of moving through. And then, wait, wait for it. Right button. Oh, that's what it looks like right now. Same view. So broke out to the sunshine. Beautiful. 61 degrees. Um, that's right, like I said, just south of uh, Salem. Our other winery camera stole our family estate. Really pretty up in Dayton with the blue sky and the new freshly greened grass after it rained a whole bunch. All right, bust off forecast for the kids tomorrow morning, your Friday morning. 43. Wait, do kids not have school tomorrow? I don't think they do. I'm moving on. Oh, wait, no, Washington, you have school, so we'll go back to it. Um, 43 in the morning for those kids. Uh, I think there's an in service day in Oregon, if I'm correct. 43 in the morning and then in the afternoon. Um, Look for plenty of sunshine. Temperatures are right around 60, just like today. So what's ahead? Well, uh, the I-5 corridor looks dry the next two days, just a mixture of sun and clouds. We're going to be staying cool, though, the next seven days. No high temps above 65. Every single one of those days will be below average for this time of the year. Nice change after the heat of summer, I suppose. And then the next rain, very confident. It's coming in Saturday night, midnight or just beyond. That leads us to a rainy day Sunday. We're calling Monday a rainy day. I think it's a few light showers on Monday. In general, we don't have any stormy weather coming up over the next week, which is nice. So we've got this weak system out here. Uh, we think it's just going to scoot down the coastline kind of like this and take most of the rain with it. Here's a forecast showing us where the clouds and the rain might be. Models almost never are perfectly correct, but they do pretty well nowadays. Two things going on. There is some shower action in northeast Oregon tomorrow morning. This is at 8 a.m. And then notice a few light showers along the coastline as the day goes on. We don't think, here we are at 5 p.m., that any of those will make it over the coast range that leaves the I-5 corridor dry but scattered light showers at the coast. We wake up Saturday it's partly cloudy again. Saturday afternoon is still partly cloudy so basically a pleasant two days ahead and then here comes the rain 3 a.m. Sunday you can clearly see the cold front the area of yellow there and that is over the metro area and west of the Cascades 6 a.m. Sunday so we wake up Sunday it's pretty gray and wet. In fact the rain for the next five days is not that much Maybe a quarter inch here in the valleys. There's not going to be that much rain. It's uh, not tomorrow. It stays out at the coastline tomorrow, but uh, Sunday. Sunday's a day and some leftover showers on Monday, and then I think we'll be dry by Tuesday. So tomorrow's coastline forecast, a lot of gray, but it'll be a few sun breaks too. And then a few light showers, nothing heavy, really light stuff. Temps upper 50s, a little bit of a south breeze. Calm wind in the valley. I don't think we'll see a repeat of the dense fog again. I think it'll just be partly cloudy, dry day, dry in the gorge, partly cloudy there. Everybody's partly cloudy basically uh, across the board here once you get east of the coast range. 52 government camp tomorrow. Great hiking weather in the Cascades. East of the Cascades, we've got the morning showers, La Grande, Baker City, light stuff and burns too. Then that seems to move out of here with lots of sunshine. And your Friday forecast in Portland, the clouds will come and go all day. Pretty bright day. I think it'll be nice. Temperature feels about like today. We start chilly in the morning. No wind tomorrow. Very light. Rain comes in Sunday. Sunday's not a washout, but I think there'll be a lot of showers around. Monday, much lighter showers. Look at the highs. Mid to upper 50s, well below average. And then uh, we think some light rain about the middle of next week. Not a single model shows a stormy pattern through the next week. We're just going to be cooler than average with some little bits of rain here and there.